Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's live summit with Bunker Hill. I'm pleased to introduce their CEO, Sam Ash, as well as their CFO, David Weens. The team's going to be reviewing some of the latest news from Bunker Hill and afterwards take some of your questions live if you have any, uh, in which case you can submit using the Q&A chat in front of the right-hand side of your screen at any time today. Uh, and as always, this event is being recorded, of course, so if you want to take a look at this later, you can go on six.com and find it. Uh, without further ado, Sam, David, I want to hand things over to you to get us started. Thanks a lot, Cam. And, uh, you know, we, we've been doing these uh, kind of monthly updates and project uh, updates here at Bunker Hill. Uh, but we thought it would be a good idea just before Christmas to uh, share really quite a significant milestone with everybody. And that's the breakthrough of our 1,800-foot uh, decline between the five and six levels. And you can see on the uh, slide here uh, why that's so important to us. Because with that breakthrough, we now have rubber-tired mining access to the first three years of uh, mineralization in our pre-feasibility study. So really, you know, this marks a key uh, milestone, which demonstrates that really from a mining perspective and a pr preparation for delivering or at a, a sustainable rate to the processing facility, you know, we are well on track and ahead of schedule to be able to support that uh, you know that uh, successful restart at Bunker Hill. So can't say how important this uh, you know this milestone is for us. You know the teams here at Bunker Hill have been working for a long time, uh, most of this year uh, on uh, achieving this milestone, and I can't be happier with the uh, you know with this breakthrough and what it represents for us, both from a uh, project timeline perspective, but also for an opportunity to begin the process of uh, of resource conversion. And, uh, and operational readiness in the underground environment. The process, the uh, demolition of the processing plant is, uh, is really kind of wrapping up this week. The building is down and the materials are uh, being uh, um, moved off site. And that's gonna pave the way for the uh, initiation of civil work early in the new year. We've also finalized the, the uh, design for the uh, pre-engineered mill building, and we'll be going out for uh, and and securing a build slot for that over the next uh, couple of weeks. Process plant engineering is really nearing uh, completion uh, very very quickly. You can see here some of the final uh, GNA drawings and uh, detailed drawings associated with that processing plant, and couldn't be happier with the uh, technical project pro progress. Of the, uh, of the engineering uh, associated with the processing plant. That's going very, very well. And um, as always, you know, we are uh, on track and uh, all things go for a operational restart in late Q3, early Q4 next year. So really just wanted to take this opportunity before, before everybody uh, breaks away and enjoys uh, the holiday season to uh, let everyone know that here at Bunker Hill, we're going into the Christmas season, um, having achieved a milestone that we've been working very hard at for quite some time and, uh, and are very excited about the opportunities that, that that presents and the milestone it represents along the way towards the uh, operational restart. Thank you very much and we'll take any questions. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you guys for the great presentation, short and sweet. Uh, but uh, yeah, if anyone in the audience has any questions, please submit them now in the Q&A chat. Um, you know, Sam, David, uh, it's coming into the new year. Uh, you know, what would you guys identify as being the most exciting element of this news, though? The thing to walk away from if you're an attendee or a shareholder. Well, I think I think for me, what, what this represents is you know demonstration of yet another key milestone uh, that this team has achieved on the uh, on the pathway towards uh, you know successful restart of the Bunker Hill mine. Uh, you know, this demonstrates that, uh, you know, we have the team in place that can deliver on the uh, milestones and the timeline that we put out to uh, deliver. You know, start going back to uh, earlier this year with the uh, demobilization and relocation of the processing plant ahead of schedule under budget. Now the successful breakthrough and access to the first three years of mineralization in the mine plan, uh, carrying on with the uh, progress that's being made on the build, mill building demolition and moving into uh, and moving into the the construction phase, I think you're you're looking at a project that has momentum, 
has an increasing amount of momentum um, and a clear path forward to bring this mine into production. All right, well, fair enough, absolutely. Um, listen, gentlemen, doesn't look like there's uh oh, well, actually, uh, Michael is wondering if you could give more details about a $5 million loan facility with Sprott Royalty. I'm happy to take that one, Cam. Um, so the $5 million uh, loan has closed. Uh, we news released that uh, about a week or two ago. And um, uh, use of proceeds, uh, as per the news release, were to you know, really settle the final outstanding balance uh, with the EPA, which is, uh, you know, we haven't talked about on this call, but which is a huge milestone and means a lot to to us um, to be, uh, you know, finally have that uh, off our balance sheet. And, and, uh, and, you know, the partnership with the EPA is extremely important to us. So a uh, big milestone on the financial side there. Uh, that is closed um, as, uh, as per the news release in which we originally announced it. That is envisaged to be paid back from the stream, uh, which we're continuing to work towards uh, in the first quarter of 2023. And um, it really is a, just yet another show of support um, from our, our partners at, at Sprott, which we're very grateful for. Uh, the total total financing package with Sprott is 66 million. And with this 5 million uh, that's been advanced, uh, that makes 34 million of the 66 uh, having been advanced. So. Um, uh, which has is, is worked very well for both sides. So um, continuing to work forward with them and uh, and uh, making sure that we've got enough uh, financing to continue to meet the timeline you see on the screen there. Absolutely. Joshua wants to know what are the hiring timelines for mine workers uh, along with numbers? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, the process of building our staff and, and building the uh, building the, uh, the the employees and team members is underway. Uh, you know, we, we certainly, as you would expect, have a roadmap to, uh, you know, to uh, building additional manpower and capability as we move forward through the next year. Um, and, uh, you know, and that will begin to ramp up as we move through Q1 into Q2. Obviously, you'll, we'll see quite an uptick of uh, construction um, personnel as we're building the processing plant. And then all, all through 2023, there will be a relatively steady ramp up of underground mining uh, capability as we gear up to uh, deliver sustainable ore to the processing plant in the in that early Q3 timeframe. Absolutely. You may have answered it with that answer, but Christopher was just wondering if you could elaborate any more on the three month build. On the three month, I'm not sure I understand the, the three month build. Uh, Christopher, if in the chat you want to uh, elaborate, that'd be wonderful uh, then. But uh, otherwise, that looks like all the questions you've received currently. Um, I believe that may be referring to the three months uh, or so of the process plant construction. Um, it would be my... Oh, okay. So, you know, the, the processing plant, you know, essentially, the um, you know, there is the construction part of that. Uh, but in taken into conjunction with the uh, site preparation, which includes the foundation work, you know that um, you know that that full construction process, including the commissioning, you know that's more of a nine-month process. Uh, so the you know the you know that construction phase really kind of indicates when key components will be set in place, uh, piping will be put together, things of that nature. But certainly. You know the uh, the civil portion of that construction, uh, starting with the demolition, is uh, is really underway. All right, fair enough. Well, gentlemen, that looks like all the questions we've received for today. So I want to thank you for coming on and providing a quick update and also uh, handling some of these questions. Um, I'd like to pass things back to you before we wrap up today for any uh, closing remarks that you have, though. Yeah, from my perspective, I'd say you know thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. It's been a pleasure uh, updating everyone on our progress. You know, here at Bunker Hill, you know, we're having a, a very productive end to the year as we move into the holiday season and uh, gearing ourselves up to hit the ground running in 2023. So look forward to speaking to everyone again soon. Thank you.